Hey guys, this is Joe, and I'm back today with more Shelter. Now this is actually my third video in this series, and uh, I think we're actually coming up to a well, a conclusion of the game, maybe. I mean, I'm not actually entirely sure how long this game is. I've put about probably an hour into it. But uh, let's go and um, see how this game winds up. Alright, so if you've been watching my other videos, you know there's only me and one of my other badger alive. I've pretty much let my family die a gruesome death every time. I've not been able to keep them alive at all, which is actually the aim of the game. He wants that. There you go, dude. Enjoy that carrot, little, little badger friend. It's just you and me now. And I can hear something hopping around. Ah, oh, there's a little rat. I'm gonna try and score you up on this. And there it is. We get that. There you go, dude. Another little present for you. Alright. So now you can see we're actually in the fourth level of this game. It's kind of like a smoky forest. Looks like the wilderness is being burned to the ground. And me and my little badger friend are trying to make our way through it here. With the ambient sounds in the background, the sound of the flames burning the woodland areas. Wow. As you can see, this is not in very good shape at all. I'm gonna head down this hill here and see what to... Uh... Oh wow, that flame is really burning loudly now. Oh, God, where is he? Is he alright? Oh, you want that, do you? There you go, my friend. Okay, I gotta, gotta try and keep feeding these guys. You don't want to die of hunger. They can be brought back to life again as well if you uh, do feed them. But alright. Gotta say, you know, they've done a really good job of making the levels kind of differentiate from each other. This is the fourth level. And you know, the colours are completely different from the previous three levels. Oh! Wow, yeah. Tree branch falling. Oh, oh no, the old grass area is actually... ...on fire. Everything's been set alight from that falling branch. There you go, eat that carrot. We're going to need it to get around these flames, I think. going to try and scurry past as quickly as possible. Alright, but like I said, I don't actually know how long this game is. I mean, I actually managed to get through the uh, previous two levels in as little as about 20 minutes, so about 10 minutes each. Oh, yeah, he wants that. He's like humping the ground. He, he's ready. There you go. There you go, my friend. You eat that ball of corn, whatever that is. Got to be careful here not to run into those flames. I'm not actually sure if that would hurt, but... There's a lot of invisible walls in this game, but I imagine they would actually burn, maybe. Yeah, he's still behind me. Just making sure my friend is still there. Oh, wow. Oh! Yeah, there's like a pterodactyl bird of death again. Where is he? Gotta be careful, I might encounter one of these since the first since the first level. Um Oh dear god no we're trapped, run back, go back! No! No, 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 no! God that log blocked my path and he stole my Oh my god, I'm on fire! Oh dear lord, what? I've lost all I've lost all of my badger babies. Oh my god, this whole area is progressively getting worse. I need to get out of here. Oh my god, this is scary stuff. This is like probably the most intense level I've played. God, look at that. Everything is on fire here. head through. 
Oh, I've done such a lousy job of keeping my badger babies alive. I failed. <laughs> so hard. It is possible to keep all of them alive. You do start with five of them. Six including myself. There's just no point in me even picking up this food now. I don't think... I don't think I could even revive my last badger because the bird took him. Oh my god. This is really da this is really dangerous. If it wasn't for the falling branch in the first place, I would have been able to keep at least one alive. Oh, I feel like I feel like such a failure in regards to the uh, I feel like it, you know I feel like I've just like let my own kids down. Okay, I think uh, we're going to have to go through this uh, little alcove over here. This must be the final level. Must be. God, everything is so... Yeah, this whole area is being ruined. My home is being burned to the ground. I'm gonna make my way through this tunnel. Okay, we'll come to a river, it looks like, just ahead here. I'm just gonna explore the area a little bit, just to make sure. Oh wow, there's a little area here too. So which, so which way is it? Can I get across this river? Maybe that is the way I need to actually go. Actually, yeah, I think it is. Don't think I can get into this. Yeah. Way too strong. Yeah, I have nothing to do down here. Alright, well, there's a little rat there, but there's no point even trying to chase those now because I've got no kids to feed. Yeah, more branches falling here. Oh god, that's getting so close. The music is really kicking in as well. It's Think progressing all the way throughout the levels, and uh, I guess it's starting to reach its like culmination a little bit here. Uh, I'm trying to decide which way to go now, isn't it? This way, I believe. Oh god, oh god, the fire is spreading. More trees are falling. I'm just gonna keep running, trying to make my way through. Oh, the music has stopped. Is that it? Okay. Looks like the flames have uh, not spread it this far out, so. Oh! Just scared a wolf. I mean, I could, you know, <laughs> at this point, I'm even trying to creep up on these guys now because. Again, I've just got no kids to feed. Oh, but I pounce anyway. There it goes. I kind of just wish I had some kids to feed it though. Um, interesting. You know, it's this giant, giant ring on itself. Okay, let's stop running into the wall there. Um, let's see here. Looks like we've got an entrance way up here it's into a cave of some kind. Alright, let's make our way through. 
Oh, great. Awesome. Looks like we, uh, that level is done with. Ah, here we are. Brand new level, guys. Check this out. Get the bees. Sounds like I'm near the ocean, in fact, but... That could just be the uh, wildlife. Definitely in a kind of summer, spring themed uh, level now. Looking very beautiful as always. Really got those soft pastel colours, you know. It's kind of, kind of something I've really taken away from this game. It's kind of trademarked, especially in the early stages. And the last couple. Really got that light tone to it. And you know, really a peaceful kind of kind of game to play. You know, if you're really into exploration games and you are into kind of the narrative-driven games, where it is, where it's all left to the imagination, I guess you could say, then this game is definitely worth checking out. Very simple, very uh, eloquent. Fox on my right. But again, guys, it's just pointless. I've just completely left all my uh, babies to die in previous levels, and now I'm just on my own. It's pretty sad when you think about it. You know, even, even I can't even eat my own stuff, so. Uh. Wow, I do like the mountains over there, though, in the distance. Looking very nice. Just gonna explore around this rock here. You can see what's on this side. I think I have to go left, but I will take a quick look in this area as well. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna kill the rat, guys. I'm not even gonna do it. I'm just gonna. Let them be. I've just got no reason to harm anything anymore. Alright, let's just uh, keep on heading now. I do like how if you don't have anything in your mouth, he kind of turns his nose up. It's like a howling move. <laughs> and the funny thing is when you actually have your uh, little badger babies, you do that, they all do it with you. It's pretty adorable. But uh, let's just head on down. I have a feeling we're coming up to a conclusion, but I said that on my... I thought the, uh, I thought the last level was actually going to be the last stage, but apparently it wasn't, I guess. There's still more to do. Although this level doesn't look as challenging, you know? In the last level you had a... Uh, well, the flames of death trying to take you out, and the level before that you had the, uh, like, kind of hopping over the riverbed trying to avoid the waves that were crashing down on you. Before that it was night time where you had to kind of escape the demon creatures eating you in the dark. On the first level you had the bird of death that would try to swoop down and eat you, which made a return on the last level. But so far on this level, this, uh, this fifth stage here, there's not much really happening. It's Pretty much a case of just hitting trees and trying to feed your would-be babies if they were still alive. Got a little narrow path here, all leading to this area below us. So let's head down there and see what is what is the deal. All of the way just hops along. Just waddling along. Wait, why is the uh, music kind of picking up? Gonna head into this little little den here. This looks very familiar. Looks like the uh, 
I saw the original tunnel when I was in at the start of the game, but it's not, it's completely different. So we've got, we can go to the left or we can go straight here, let's go left. Ah yeah, this is just filled with food. Again, pointless! Never gonna forgive myself for that, I've completely let down the side of my family. Well, Badger family. Looks like we're gonna come out back into the open wilderness here. Oh. Yeah, well, there's the bird. I don't even know if that can even get me, so what is the, what is the point? I'm just gonna run out. Kind of like shrubbery to shrubbery, I guess. Oh wow, this is like a really open area here. What is that? Is that like a tree stump? I can't really make it out. Yeah, it is. Just a stump of a tree. Looks like we've got a little entrance way over here. He's just not even going to swoop down because I've not got any kids. It's completely ignoring me, in fact. Yeah, this is a really wide area, and I can imagine this. I can imagine this area being really difficult if you had your kids, which is actually the aim of the game, which I'm supposed to be doing now. But I'm just, I just, I've just kind of, I've lost them all. So now it's just me, just openly roaming. And the bird is not going to come down and attack me, apparently. Whoa, there he comes! Oh. Oh, God. I take it back. Apparently he's going to come down and attack me. What is happening? Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, no. It's... I'm dead. Oh, my God. What has happened? I don't believe it. No. No. What? What has happened? Is that it? Was that meant to happen? Is that the end? Is that the end of the game? It is. I can't really address it too much without having my uh, badger babies there, but if they were with me, maybe I sacrificed their well being for my well being, and in the end, I kind of risked my life for theirs. At least that's what I take from it. Having all my infant badges die early on, which is a shame really, you know. I guess we'll try and do a playthrough of this where we try and keep all five of them alive. That would be really interesting. And probably difficult. There it is, guys. That is shelter. And it's a very quaint game, very, uh, very unique in a sense. Really enjoyable if you're into that type of game. 
you know, it's no puzzle solving, it's not really action, it's just a case of exploration and just doing what you can to try and keep your badges alive all the way through to the end. To provide them shelter. But you can pick this game up on Steam, you can pick this up on GOG.com. Very enjoyable. Just gonna watch the credits roll by here. And some highlights of this game, I really say, is the music that really, you know, really provided to the atmosphere of the game. You know, graphically, there was some hitches. You know, the camera is not the best. You know, a lot of times I'd be spinning around and I'd end up glitching through some kind of grass or some tree or some hollow textures, and it'll kind of disorient you for a second. But it doesn't really take away too much from the game. It is what it is, and you know, it does what it does really well. And there's the uh, final image we're left with there. And the bird that killed me. And it's carrying me. Wait, it's still. G Wait! Escape, Badger! Escape! Nope, we just fade to white. And it probably eats me alive. 